hey everyone i hope you guys are doing great in this video tutorial i will tell you how you can create a digital ocean droplet with whm and cpanel enabled so after logging in into the digital ocean panel you just need to go to the create and create a new droplet okay so here are the container distributions uh, sorry marketplace and you need to find here cpanel and whm so if you cannot find you can just simply search here as well see cpanel whm this is same thing okay you need to select it uh, and then choose a server whichever you want you want for this uh, for this i will just choose a simple with 10 dollar per month uh, 2 gb ram but this 1 gb ram is also fine with this whm you need to select a region and then uh, there are two ways ssh keys and a password i will go with the password so this is the same password which you will use to log into whm so uh, you need to keep it somewhere safe where you can access it later okay this is the password that i used you can use anything from these additional options if you like uh, okay so This is my Laravel application which I will deploy on this server. So you can choose just whatever hostname you like. Okay, create. Okay, this is uh, created. The server is created for me, but the WHM and cPanel will be installed on the back end. I will show it to you after logging into the SSH. okay our server is ready now so what we have to do is we just need to log in to ssh to see the uh, installation of whm and cpanel so for this you can use putty and you can use any other so software that you want also you can use console from here as well but i will use putty here if you also want to use putty you just need to enter the ip address in the host name and uh, enter root as a username and the password is whatever the password that you set while installing the server okay you see here we are just logged in and you can see here the whm and cpanel is being installed we just need to wait a couple of minutes for this to be installed okay after waiting for a couple of minutes it is finally installed also we can see a success message here so now let's try to access the whm panel from the web browser so after installing you can access the whm panel at 2087 port so let's try to access it colon 2087 okay we need to click advance and proceed Okay, here you need to enter the password and username is the root and password is whatever the password you choose on installation and login. So we are successfully logged in into the WHM panel. So here are some legal uh, agreement which you, we need to agree. So agree to all login to cpanel store ok allow access server setup so just for your information uh, and the whm at cpanel is not free they just give you a trial license and after some time you need to renew with the paid version okay so now you can see we are in whm panel and from here we can also create accounts uh, and then we will be able to access the cpanel as well so here you, you also need to enter the domain right now we don't have any domain attached with this server but if you want to attach a do domain as well you need to change the dns of that domain so but we can just use this domain as a test 
okay so now we uh, we have created the account so that we can access the cpanel as well go to cpanel so here you can see the complete setting of your server in the cpanel the file manager and everything that a cpanel has so that's it from this tutorial if you need any other help you can let me know in the comment section and if you need any other relevant tutorial please do let me know thank you so much